Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. I'm kid free today. Adam is watching the girls all day today because he is going fishing tomorrow all day. So that's just kind of the little deal we made. Like you watch the kids this day, I'll watch the kids this day. So I'm kid free. It is about 11.45 right now. I am sitting at the post office. I just had some packages I had to drop off. The only other things that I have to do today are a return at Target. And then I really would like to get to the Meyer car wash and vacuum out my like whole back area of my car. Um, it'd be cool to get the front up here too, but the back there, back there is like my priority. Oh shoot, do they only take quarters? I have a few. Anyway, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the time, but I might grab some lunch. I know I want to get a Starbucks, so if you guys want to hang out with me, then stick around, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I just pulled up to Starbucks. There's only like three or four cars ahead of me, so it's not too bad. Sometimes it's like 10 cars, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be here for a half an hour. But it's not bad today. So I always, like every time I pull into Starbucks, I'm like, do I want hot or cold, hot or cold, hot or cold? <laughs> Cause I get the same drink. I know it's so boring, but I get the same drink, whether it's the same hot drink that I usually get or the same cold drink I usually get. So it's like every time, ooh, my camera's sitting on my dash because I don't have a mount anymore because my kids broke it. But I, if I get cold, I get a grande vanilla cream cold brew. And if I get hot, I get a vanilla latte hot with whip. So, uh, what do I want? It's so cold out today. So that like makes me want to get the warm stuff, but there's nothing like a Starbucks cold brew. So I'm struggling today. After I get my coffee, I think I'm going to go to Burlington because I am trying to keep my eye out for these baby sleepers for baby sis. Um, and I want to see if they have them because these buy sell trade groups I'm a part of on Facebook, they like women have been finding them, like moms have been finding them at Burlington. So I'm like, mm, maybe our Burlington has them. But whenever I like go to TJ or whenever they, I see like they go to TJ Maxx or Burlington or whatever and they like, look what I found, like you blah, blah, blah. Whenever I go and check like our own, they never have it. And I don't know if it's just cause like that's where we live or what, but it sucks. Shopping in our city sucks. <laughs> Hi, can I do, sorry, I'm trying to decide between hot or cold. No worries. Um, can I do a grande vanilla cream cold brew, please? Grande vanilla cream cold brew, anything else for you? Can I add sweet cream foam on top? And that's it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. I'm so annoying. <laughs> All right, I just left Burlington while I'm in the parking lot, but I did not vlog in there because there were a ton of people and like right next to me. And I feel like it's so weird when you're trying to vlog and there's like several people like at the same rack as you trying to, I don't know why it was so busy today, but I did want to show you guys kind of what I got. Oh my gosh, that was tricky. Um, so the first thing is this little um, set. This is actually for the baby. I don't think this is going to fit Ayla this summer, but we live, um, in a town where we have a national cherry festival. So I thought that this little outfit was going to be so cute for like, you know, cherry festival. It's got cherries on it. It's like nice and muted colors. It kind of looks like something that you would get from like Zara. So it is just this like sweat shirt with these little shorts and then a little headband to go with it. I thought that that was so cute. And the outfit actually, or the set actually came with another t-shirt and a pair of leggings, which I'm not gonna use those. So I'll probably just take those to a local resale store that we have in town and just sell those. But um, the set was $9.99 and it came with 
all of this plus a couple two more things but I'm gonna sell the t-shirt and the leggings because I just won't use them but this is so cute um, that is the first thing I got and then the next couple of things that I got are for the girls Valentine's Day baskets I will start with these small little things but I got um, two of these necklace and bracelet sets they were $1.99 for each one and it, each set comes with three bracelets and three necklaces and they have little hearts and little flowers and then like a little unicorn dangling from the bottom so this is what it looks like it just has like three three and three um, the girls love anything that has to do with jewelry um, they love rings, bracelets, necklaces, but unfortunately being that they are toddlers, um, which is natural, they do get broken all the time. My battery died. <laughs> I was not paying attention at all. Um, anyway, I left off with the necklaces and bracelets, yes. Um, they always get broken, so it's always great when I can find a cheap set. Um, and it goes with Valentine's Day, it has the hearts and everything. The next thing I got, these are so gaudy, <laughs> but the girls are going to be obsessed with them. I already know it. The girls both love horses and unicorns and all of that stuff, and they love like bags and purses. <laughs> Y'all, this is totally not my style, but they were so like, I knew the girls were going to love them. So this is, <laughs> I got two of them, you know, because one was just not going to cut it. So I got two of them uh, to put in their van. Excuse me, oh my gosh, pregnancy. I'm always burping or something. Um, yeah, to put in their Valentine's Day baskets and they were $7 each. So look how cute though. I mean, they're totally not my like jam, but they have the little handles and the little tool. And then on top of it, like, yes, it's actually a purse. So the girls can put things inside. I don't know, they're ridiculous, but the girls are gonna love them so much, so there's that. And the last thing I got, so I got this little hat, it was on clearance for $4. I got this little hat for baby girl. Um, it's gonna fit her perfectly when um, she's due in June, so in the fall and winter, this is gonna fit her perfectly, it's super stretchy. I honestly feel like it would fit Ayla now, but be just like slightly too small and she's two. So I think for like a six to nine month old, this is gonna be perfect. For the girls, again, these were on clearance. I, I'm a bargain shopper if you can't tell, <laughs> for the most part. Um, this is for Ayla, it's like a little um, scarf and hat duo. Sorry, I'm like looking off in the distance because I'm making sure you guys can see in the view, or I'm making sure you guys can see it. But yeah, it's this really cute pink cable knit um, with a little palm on top of the hat, but so cute, $5.99. That one's for Ayla. And then this one's for Maylee. It's just a little bit bigger. This one did not come with a scarf, but Maylee has a couple of scarves at home. This one was $4.99 and it's just super soft, really cute. I love the double palm. Um, if you couldn't tell between this one and the babies, but this one is, it's like a super chunky, it's like cream and pink colors. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah. And that's everything that I got from Burlington. I spent a little bit more than I wanted to, but that's okay. Cause I am officially done with their Valentine's Day basket stuff. So that's exciting. I'm back in my car. Sorry I didn't film much while I was in there. I don't know. I just, honestly, part of me keeps forgetting to film. And the other part of me, like, I have my hands full and I'm just trying to, like, get out of there. Wow, I've had to adjust my camera in both of these clips. That's really cool. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what I got. So, I got this little tea there for baby girl. Cute little sunshine teether 
It's like a creamy, creamy yellowish color, but I love the mushy, the mushy brand. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I got that. And then, I got this little set for, and don't laugh at me, but this is actually for next year for a baby girl because it was on clearance for $5 and I was like, I cannot pass it up. But it's just this little, really, really soft um, set. It's like little hearts for next Valentine's Day. I got it in the size that she'll need. So, and it's like super soft. So I loved that. And then this next stuff I'm so excited about. I went into TJ Maxx and I found, the first thing I found on the shelf, because I was like, I really want to get the girls uh, Valentine's Day jammies, just because I want to do a cute little Valentine's Day picture. And I just love to do like the matching jammies, but I'm super picky. I don't like red on my girls. I don't know why. I've never put like, anything red on my girls like that little outfit I just showed you those little hearts they're like a very very pale red but the base color is cream so that doesn't bother me but most like Halloween or not Halloween most Valentine's jammies they're like bright red with like white hearts or bright red with like all these different crazy like heart patterns and all of that or they're like pink with like red everything so I was really excited to find these the first set I found was Ayla's um hers is the 2t but it is so cute oh my goodness so it's super like super soft material this is like one of the softest jammy materials I've ever felt um the hearts are hot pink and the base color is like a heathered pink and white but this is the print and that's Ayla's and then obviously it comes with pants. So I found that and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting these for Ayla. I could not see them in Maylee's size or anything. So I was like, well, that's a bummer, you know, because I like to do matching jammies. But I was like, I'm getting them for Ayla anyway because they're so incredibly cute. And then I went to the women's section because I was like, I could use, you know, a pair of cozies and I found mine <laughs> my size whoa it's got a hot pink bow on the on the pants um I found my size medium in the matching print to Ayla's and so I was like oh my goodness I have to get the matching set like I know Maylee doesn't have a match but I'm just gonna get it anyway so I got my match there and then I'm walking down the aisle and I'm not finding these jammies anywhere right I'm not seeing any more in Ayla sizing no more in 2t 3t 4t 5t like 16 no no none no 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 <laughs> none anywhere and then even like the women's section mine was the only pair only size left in all the size run all the way down from small to extra large like that was mine was the only pair in a size medium so I'm like shoot like that's literally we got the last two in the store well, then I'm looking and I circle back around to like the, the toddler little girl stuff and I find a pair in a size 7 for Maylee. <laughs> and Maylee is like a size 5, 6 depending on the brand. So I know they're probably going to be a little too big, but I think the top, as long as I like wash and dry it first, I think the top is going to be great. So same set. The pants are probably going to be a mile too long, but whatever <laughs> yeah the pants are gonna be way too long but that's okay we can just like kind of scrunch them up at the bottom but as long as I get my matching Valentine's Day picture I am happy so that is my giant pile of matching pajamas from <laughs> TJ Maxx and that's everything that I got while I was in the mall I just got to the car wash I'm gonna vacuum my car
I just put my quarters in the thingy, my bob, and I started vacuuming my car, and it's a dollar for the vacuum, which is, you know, good deal, whatever. You'd think you'd get like a few minutes out of it. No, I'm pretty sure it went for like one minute. I was able to like vacuum like not even the back of my car. <laughs> so I will not be putting another dollar in that machine. I don't know if that's just like a faulty one or what, but I swear when I would come here back in like when I was younger, like eight, 18, 20, something like that, before kids and I would vacuum out my Jeep, like I swear a dollar would get like three, four minutes and I could vacuum like pretty much my whole Jeep with like one, maybe two dollars. And that was just ridiculous. I literally only vacuumed like the third row, like floor, not even, not even that. So yeah, I'm not gonna be putting another dollar in that. I sound like such a Karen right now, but I'm like, I didn't even get to, like, it would cost me $10 just to vacuum my car if I kept putting money in it. Yes, I still have my coffee because I forgot it in my car, like, this whole day, so. <sighs> I went to Olive Garden, and it was really good. I had the soup and salad with uh, breadsticks, Dr. Pepper, bought of Alfredo for my breadsticks, and then I had a little coupon in my email for a free dessert. So I got my dessert to go. I got a tiramisu. You guys wanna see it? Girl next to me probably thinks I'm nuts talking to my camera. Look at the tiramisu. Just look at it. Okay, I need to drive away before she thinks I'm nuts. Okay, so I'm home now and I just laid out the stuff that I'm gonna be putting in the girls' baskets over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in the baskets and then I will show you guys what they look like. I am waiting for one more thing to put in Maylie's Valentine's Day basket, but this is everything I got today to go in them. So I'm gonna stuff them full and then I will show you guys how they turn out. Okay, here they are. So Maylie still has one more thing that needs to go in her basket that's in the mail right now. But um, I think they turned out so cute. I love doing baskets for like Valentine's Day and Easter and Halloween. Um, I just think it's so much fun to do a little basket for them. But they each have a sweater, hat, and pajamas, necklaces, a pair of sandals, a book, a unicorn bag. They'll each have a stuffed animal in there. And then the water bottles. And it's so so cute let me know if you guys do little baskets for holidays like this because i've been doing it like that since the girls were really 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 small like since maylee was six months old i think or whenever her first holiday was that's when i started doing them and i just love doing them it's so much fun and it's just a fun little way to get your kid like a little something um between holidays and their birthday so so much fun. Turned out so cute. All right guys, sorry the lighting is terrible in here, but I am going to go ahead and end today's vlog. I think that I have enough footage to do an entire vlog um, from today, but I plan to film tomorrow as well when I have the girls by myself. Um, so I'm just going to do that in a separate video instead of having it all in one because I think that if I try to do it all in one as like a weekend vlog then it would end up being too long. So if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!